hoes and welcome back to another episode of the royal family today is going to be a fun little episode we are going to be doing several things that i think you guys might find pretty interesting um the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to see desta and we're going to pay a little bit of attention to desta and adric and we're also going to see bellatrix in just one second too we're going to have charles and fallon's wedding in this episode and then we're going to go see alice may and the other teens and then we're going to go see han and araminta because araminta is going to be having her second baby so yeah, we're gonna do all that in this episode. I'll probably be talking a good amount in this episode, just so you know. Before we begin, just real quick, first, thank you guys for your patience. I know I haven't really posted a video in a while. If you saw on my community post or Twitter or Instagram, I posted something saying, Jake and I were trying to move all of our stuff out of our old apartment. So if you remember a while ago, I had like the blue background that was at our old apartment. And then after I lost my job and the pandemic stuff, we had to move to my mom's to watch my brothers during the weekdays, but we still had our old apartment. So we were just moving moving all the stuff out of there. So I was busy with that, which is why I couldn't post anything. Um, actually today we just found out that our leasing office didn't realize that we had given them a notice that we were leaving and they can't find it. So they thought we were staying for another two months. So we were like, oh, okay. So if I seem a little bit scatterbrained in today's episode, that's why we're just dealing with all that stuff. But yeah, I won't get into that. Um, but one more thing before we begin, I just want to let you guys know too, because I had mentioned before that Jake and I were planning on moving to LA this August. So like that would have been in a few days, but the whole point of us moving to LA was to pursue acting and no one's doing auditions or filming anything at the moment because of the pandemic. So we were like, okay, maybe we should wait. So we'll just wait, I guess, until all of this is over. But since I am going to be here for a while, I will probably just like rearrange the room, try to make it a little bit prettier for you guys. So yeah. Anyway, sorry, that's really random, but just wanted to let you guys know, keep you guys updated on what's going on here. But for today's episode, I did post two story posts actually on my Instagram, just two little scenes. One of them is a cute, fun one of Kimmy and Makana. And then I did one that's a little bit more relevant to this episode of Jabari and Amira. So both of those links are in the description below if you want to read those before you watch the rest of the episode. But I'll talk about the one of Amira and Jabari a little bit later. But but in the last episode, you guys saw the whole thing going on with Adric and the Salvadorada royal family. You saw that Adric's dealing with just a lot right now. Zamora was putting a lot of pressure on him to make sure that Desta knows that if she were to become the queen of Salvadorada, that she would not have time to continue being in the military like she is right now. So Adric did talk to Desta about that, basically told her everything his mother Zamora had told him. So Desta said she had to think about it. And so now, Desta is meeting Bellatrix for lunch. They're in Suwani. They just ordered their food. So she's just telling her basically everything that Adric had told her and what she has to decide. I think Bellatrix was a good person. I mean, first of all, her and Bellatrix are really close, but Bellatrix also just knows more about like what the other royal families, what they do, what's expected of them. So she's a good person to talk to about this. So Desta has informed Bellatrix everything that Adric told her. And I feel like Bellatrix just like asking her like, well, what's the reason that you wanted to join the military and the army in the first place? I think Desta, she just wanted to help make a difference. And she thought that fighting for her country, fighting for her kingdom seemed like the most honorable thing to do. And also a big part of it was it was something that her parents always wanted for her because her parents, they were both in the army. I think Bellatrix is telling her, like, she knows for sure, like, she knows a little bit about what Queen Zamora does. I mean, Zamora is in charge of running all the foundations and a lot of the philanthropic work, not only in Salvadorada, but also other kingdoms as well. Like, she doesn't run it in other kingdoms, but she plays a big part in it. And Desta has been in the army for several years. So if she's worried about her parents, like making them proud and stuff. I mean, she's already served several years here, but I think Bellatrix is just making sure she knows that like she should do what she wants to do, not just what her parents want her to do. And maybe Desta could talk to either Adric or Zamora about maybe playing a, oh, hey, it's Makai, but maybe playing a part in the military of Salvadorada slash Dakarai, which I'll talk about that in just a second too. But basically Bellatrix is just saying like, if she becomes the queen of Salvadorada, if she marries Adric, 
Adric. Like that's not something she has to worry about, like not being able to make a difference and not being able to still follow her dreams and all that stuff. So if that's what she's worried about, like then she has nothing to worry about, if that makes sense. So I think this has really helped Desta. I mean, she now has a better idea of what would be expected of her. So yeah, I'm gonna have her finish her lunch here with Bellatrix. We'll say that they finished and everything. And then I'm going to have her invite Adric to come talk to her and then have her talk to Adric. So yeah, let's let's pretend that they finished their lunch. Give me one second. Okay, so we are now with Adric and Desta. Desta had asked Adric to come over. I had to add him to the family so he wouldn't leave, but maybe I should have them go sit over here. So have them do that. This was originally, so this was Bellatrix's place with Desta. And then they had one other roommate, Erica, but then I moved Erica to a different household on accident. So that's technically still her roommate. Oh, okay. Well, they wanted to sit here and not face each other, but that's fine. Okay. But anyway, I think Des is going to talk to Adric and tell her decision and saying that she did talk to Bellatrix and Adric does know Bellatrix and saying that Bellatrix had explained everything to her, saying that like why she joined the military in the first place and that it's because she wants to be able to help people and make a difference. Des is just wanting to really do what she's passionate about. So if she's able to do what she's passionate about and be with Adric, then that would make her really, really happy. Oh, Adric was sad a second ago, but now, oh, well, his face still looks a little bit sad, but now he's fine. So Adric is obviously really happy that she made this decision. He's happy he can still be with Desta. I don't think that either of them are expected to be engaged like right now. I think with Desta right now, what she wants to do is just do a lot of research and study up on Selva Dorada and also Dockerai because that's going to be part of their kingdom as well. So she wants to make sure to do that. And then when the time is right, when they're ready to get married, which will probably be pretty soon, then I think she'll feel a lot more comfortable because now she'll like know more stuff and know what to expect. But I think she's going to go ahead and get started on on helping out with things in Salvadorada with the kingdom. Her and Adric are gonna continue being together. Now they know and have talked about possibly getting married in the future. And then also with Dakarai and Salvadorada, because we talked about that in the last episode and I saw some of the comments. I think that it's going to be one kingdom. So it's going to be like different areas of the same kingdom. So like a like a united kingdom, because I will be turning Salvadorada back into a destination world. And that will probably end up being a like the, I don't know, we'll use Severada for something. That'll be a place maybe for a lot more of the philanthropic work to happen. But the royal family would be living in Dakarai and most of our stuff is probably gonna be happening there as well. But then we'll go visit Selva Dorada every so often. So I'm wondering, you guys can let me know about this. Should we change the kingdom name to Dakarai and the royal family to Dakarai? Or should we come up with a new name and like the new name is basically the kingdoms combined? So let me know what you think. If you think we should come up with a new name and you have suggestions, please let me know. I would love to know. Um, it's going to take a while to like build up Dakarai. So we're gonna come back to that probably not for several more episodes. Okay, we are going to go to Charles and Fallon's wedding now. So Adric and Desta, they're good. They're gonna keep dating. I'll keep you guys updated on them. But yeah, let's go ahead to Charles and Fallon's wedding. Okay, so we are now in Willow Creek because this is where we're going to be having Charles and Fallon's wedding, which is at Fallon's parents, or it's like their family farm slash winery. So if you've seen my Royal Adventures mini series, you know, we've been here before. But yeah, I do feel like it's always been a dream of Fallon's to get married at her family's farm. So it's a very like rustic vibe. Actually, most of the custom content that I used for this wedding is from the Rustic Romance Wedding Pack. I believe that's what it's called. There's a lot of good stuff in it. So yeah, I definitely recommend looking into that. But this is a very small wedding. I just feel like that's something that Charles wanted was it to be a pretty small wedding. He didn't want anything too big, too fancy. He just wanted him and Fallon to like do their own thing. So it's mostly just like family that's here. And then, so this is Fallon. This is her wedding dress. She's all dressed up for her wedding. I wasn't planning on having her wear a crown and I don't think she was planning on it either, but I feel like Amira might have offered her a tiara to borrow for the wedding. And I kind of feel like she didn't want to say no to her future husband's sister, who is the queen. So I have her wearing one of the tiaras for her wedding. I think she looks really pretty. But yeah, we're going to have them get married here. So this is where the ceremony is going to take place. And then we have the reception is going to be back here. And then we have, so this is baby Zayori. She's going to be a big sister. I'm so excited for her. So that's Zayori. So Han and Araminta are here. So there's Araminta. She's so pregnant. Actually, I think her belly looks a little bit like this dress doesn't make the belly look, well, no, I think it looks okay. It's just 
clipping a little bit weirdly, but I think it's fine. But yeah, she's gonna be having her baby at the end of this episode, so we will see her. We have, oh no, she's sad. Oh, this is Samaria. I don't know why she, wait, why is Han sad? What's going on? Maybe because I always got with him, I don't know. Um, but we do have Journey here. So this is Fallon's roommate. Oh, she looks a little bit irritated right now. But yeah, Journey and Maxwell, they got married. So Maxwell is here somewhere too. We'll find them. Let's have the ceremony first and then we'll, we will find everybody after that at the reception. So let's go ahead and have Fallon. Oh no, get, wait, what? Why can't you, why? Your Sims fiance isn't around. He's right here. Oh, he's not on the lot. Okay, well, I don't know. He's talking to his brother over there. He's talking to Kellen. <gasps> oh my God, wait, Sayori and Fallon, look at this. Hold on. Oh my God, that's cute. Uh, that's so cute. Sayori's oh. <laughs> just cute. I'm excited. She's excited to be a big sister too. Okay, so Fallon, now get married to Prince Charles. So, oh, Diana was in there talking to her too. That's so cute. Okay, they're gonna get married. I'm so excited. She is going to the altar now and they're getting married. Everyone will sit down in just a second, I'm sure. I'm actually not used to decorating weddings like this rustic feel. I'm used to more like fancy banquet style, which is why I usually can do the royal style and all that stuff pretty well, just because of the wedding venue that I used to work at. But we never had like rustic weddings because it was like an indoor banquet hall. So I mean, there was a few, but it wasn't ever like how you would decorate a barn wedding or anything like that. But yeah, I'm so excited for them. I am going to wait just a little bit before they have kids, just because I'm trying to get things sorted out with everyone else, but they'll have the probably in like a few episodes or so. They're both so cute. I'm glad that Charles found what he wanted. Like even though Charles, oh yay, okay, they're married, yay. Um, but even though Charles doesn't love the whole, like everything that comes with being a royal, like he's still part of his royal life. It's more like he wanted to take a step back and take a break with university, but he fully intends to keep doing like his royal duties. But actually for a wedding present, I think that Amira, cause I think in the last episode or the one before that, I had mentioned that I didn't really have any titles for nobles available in Windenburg, but on the stream we actually made two available. So Amira is gifting him the title for his wedding, so she is gifting him the title of Earl. So he's going to be the Earl of Windenburg, and Fallon is going to be the Countess of Windenburg. And then there's also the Baron title open, so that is going to be for Diana. She's going to gift her the title of Baroness. That will be for Diana and Abraham's wedding, which will be in a few episodes. So yeah, okay, yay! This is cute. Oh, yay, some people sat down. A few people sat down. Um, this is Fallon's mother. So she's, of course, here. And then we have her father, who was not in the... Oh, he's playing chess. Well, all right. And then, oh, this is Alice May. She's on the computer. We will see her in just a little bit, and we'll talk about the intro when we go see her. But yay, they're married. Oh, I can't wait to take pictures of them here. Okay, so let's go ahead and have the reception. I'm going to... I locked this, but I think some people still got out or got to the back anyway. So yay, this is our setup for the reception. We have a little dance setup here. I probably could have added a DJ table, but there was already speakers here. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh, and there's Maxwell. So yeah, Maxwell and Journey. Oh, I don't know why she's tense. She looks tense. But Maxwell and Journey are here. They're married. They're super cute. When Whenever she's not feeling tense, I don't know why she is. And we have Cedric. Cedric is here. He's so cute. This is Baroness Valentina. She is Dowager Queen Evangeline's sister. and. Also also Maxwell's mother. So I think I may have said, I can't remember, I might have said in the last episode that Ari and Gabriel's wedding was this episode. I apologize. I still have to prepare some stuff with their wedding, but yeah, just wanted to mention that. Okay, um, it is not, I mean, I think the lights, oh, okay, there are the lights. Yay, it's brighter now. Charles is just getting down on the dance floor. I'm going to have Fallon and Charles have their first dance as husband and wife. I love that we can do the slow dancing thing now. It's so great, it's so much easier. Okay, so Charles, go ask Fallon to slow dance. Let's see, that's a romantic thing, right? Slow dance with Fallon, yes. Okay, yay, he's asking her to slow dance now. I know apparently you can also, someone pointed this out in the last episode. I have not seen a command for it yet though, but they can embrace and also make out while they're slow dancing apparently. But they are so cute, you guys, I love them. All right, so they are getting some food now. So Jabari, he was in Salvadorada for several weeks and he 
is back now. We'll talk about that when we go to the Windenburg Palace, but if you saw the story post that I just mentioned in, earlier in the episode of Jabari and Amira, he does have to go back to Salvadorada, but he's here for Charles's wedding at least, so it was just timed perfectly. He was able to come back and go to Charles and Fallon's wedding. Also, Dowager Queen Evangeline is definitely here. Charles's mom is here, but every time I go to like, okay, so if I go to teleport Sim, I go down to Queen Evangeline and I click on her, she's not showing up and I don't know why. So that's kind of a problem, um, but pretend that she's here. I don't know why she's not showing up. I've had this happen like a few times in other situations before, not for a while though. But yeah, so some people are eating now, but let's go ahead and have them cut the wedding cake. So we will go ahead and do that. But yeah, it's a pretty small wedding, mostly just close family. And of course, close friends too. I mean, Journey was already really close. She's like Fallon's best friend. And then Maxwell was Charles's roommate. So they're really good friends and he's his cousin. And then of course, Fallon and Araminta are close friends too. So she invited Araminta and Han. I think it's funny too, because Charles and Fallon, they didn't go to Araminta and Han's wedding, mostly because Charles had university and also Fallon and Araminta hadn't met at that point yet. But then they became such good friends later. And yeah, they invited and Araminta and Han to their wedding. Also, Zayori, no, baby, don't do that. But yeah, so that was their wedding. I, yeah, I think the decorations, they turned out okay. It's very different. I, I try to like just make a variation for the weddings and proposals and stuff, just so it's not the same thing over and over again. But yay, okay, we're going to go ahead. So yeah, they'll have their wedding. They'll party for the rest of the night. And then we are going to go skip to the next day. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We are now at the Windenburg Palace. So the intro of this video took place like right before this. So we've had Charles and Fallon's wedding. We had Dusta and Adric, they talked already. And then now it's today. And right before this is when Caspian came back and Alice May saw him for the first time in a while. So that was the intro. We have Alice May and her little friend group that are watching a movie right now. So we have Jessica, Molly Grace, Kaleo and Alice May. Oh, Frederick, why aren't you sitting next to Jessica, no. And then Nani, I don't know where she is. I invited her and she didn't show up. So she should be here. I don't know, maybe she's sick or something. But of course, Nani is usually here too. So yeah, they're all watching their movie. Then we have Cedric is putting on a little puppet show. That's so cute. And then it, I think he, oh, Jabari, I don't know what you're doing. He's just hanging out here. Maybe he's like on full alert for whenever, I don't know, maybe keeping an eye on Kaleo and Alice May, that's, that's what he usually does. I think I'm gonna have him go watch Cedric's little puppet show though. I think that would be really, really cute. And then we have Amira, she is in a meeting with Mia, her royal advisor. So they're having a little meeting right now. And then Caspian's over here, he's doing his homework. But you guys saw that Alice May mentioned like, oh, I heard you are going to be tutored here at the palace now. So with Caspian, he has, and I'll, I'll go into this a little bit more later. I'll probably do a little story post on my Instagram and then I'll tell you guys in a video when I do post that. But Caspian, he has gotten in trouble at school in the past. He would go to public school in Sulani before. He was going to public school a little bit in Windenburg too, but Caspian kept getting in trouble at school. Also, I don't know why there are plates and stuff here. So just ignore that, I guess. But in my head, I figured that maybe Mia, since she is Amira's royal advisor, maybe she has access or like Amira recommended a private tutor or a, I'm not a professor, but basically so Caspian would be homeschooled, but at the Windenburg Palace. But yeah, I just feel like Amira might have pulled some strings to help Nia out. The thing is though, Caspian doesn't want to be here. Like he wants to be in Sulani with his dad and he thought he was going to be able to go back and live in Sulani, but Windenburg is the only place where Nia is able to get this education for him. And then we have our little kiddos down here. So yeah, they're watching their movie. So, so yeah, we'll just hang out with them because I do want to tell you guys and talk to you guys about something real quick. Oh, also I gave Alice May longer hair now because I. I found that right after the last episode. I might give her the shorter hair when she gets a little older, but I like the longer hair for her just to like match 
her hair as a younger kid, if that makes sense. But, so yeah, you guys can watch them watching a movie while I talk. So just wanted to let you guys know just some insight on future episodes and future planning and storylines and stuff. So I have AM, Alice Mays, I call her AM if you didn't know, um, but I have AM's story very planned out and I'm planning on getting like really into detail with it at some point. But once we really get into the plot of everything, then we'll be seeing a lot of her and everyone involved in her story. However, I do know that we still have a lot of weddings and proposals to do. And then also Adric's coronation ceremony that I have to plan for as well and figure out how I'm gonna do that. I was really hoping on doing Mishinimas for all of the heirs proposals and weddings, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that for everybody. I hope that's okay. Like it'll still be nice and neat and like in cinematic mode, but not like a full on machinima intro, if that makes sense. I have a few of theirs planned, but some of them might be a little bit difficult. I'm gonna try my best, but I just wanted to give you guys that warning just in case I'm not able to. But anyway, it's probably best to do the weddings and proposals first before we really get into Alice May's story. Cause once we get going into it, I'm, it's gonna be so hard for me to focus on anything else because we can still see other people with the episodes with the weddings and proposals, but it's just hard for me to have like multiple big things going on in an episode. So like when we have a big royal wedding, that's usually all I can do. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I hope that's okay. I hope that made sense. Also, the debutante ball has something to do with her story. So I'm going to try to put off the debutante ball as long as possible. But if I can't, then we'll have it. And then I will do another event for what I have planned for her story. Anyway, that was just me like kind of thinking out loud but I also just wanted to let you guys know, like give you guys some insight on what I'm thinking. But yeah, I guess they weren't doing anything too interesting. They're just kind of sitting there watching the movie with like barely any emotion, but that's okay. But I am gonna end their kids club gathering. So I'm gonna have them go home while the kiddos go home. Alice May is gonna go say bye to her friends. Molly Grace and Frederick and William are still sitting here. I don't know why. And then as you guys can tell, Cleo does get jealous. He does not like Caspian. I think that he kind of makes some little remarks sometimes about him being a commoner. Like he'll mutter things under his breath. But yeah, all of her friends are leaving now. So I now have Jabari talking to Alice May. So he asked AM if he could talk to her. He has to tell her something. So he has been in Salvadorada. He was helping out with everything. He's helping out Adric and Zamora. And then as he got back, he finds out that Zamora, she had to go to the doctor. Her health is not doing well. And it's probably mostly because of stress. And Adric has some big events coming up that he really needs to prepare for and that he's going to need help with. So Jabari has to go back in a few days to Salvador Dorada to help him with that. But Alice May does have this big speech coming up. Like it's her first big one at a banquet and she's been really looking forward to it. And Jabari doesn't think he's gonna be able to be there for it. And he wasn't there for her birthday either. He got to spend time with her. Like they spent a whole day together when he got back for her birthday, but he missed her birthday. And now he's missing this that's really important to her too. And I think with Alice May, so she tries so hard to be understanding. She tries to be happy and Jabari just explained to her like he wants to be there for the banquet and he wants to see her give her speech so badly but it's just that her cousins need help Zamora's not doing well this is something that's really important too that he has to help Adric with and he is telling Alice May like he would never miss it if it wasn't something important that he has to help with so he's just hoping that she understands and I feel like Alice May is saying like that's okay. Like, I think that she's really upset though, but I don't think she wants to show that she's upset. I think she's just really disappointed. She loves her dad. They have a really good relationship and he's not gonna be able to be there. So she, oh, okay, well, she's leaving. I think she like tried to put on a really strong face for her dad though and say like, it's okay, like do what you need to do. Oh, Alice May went outside and she's just standing here. I think she wants to try really hard to be strong and be happy. Like, I don't think she likes to let other people see her sad because she's usually so outgoing and so happy and she just likes to keep it that way. And oh, wait, there's Caspian. Oh, I feel like if Caspian, like if he's seeing her sad, I think he would definitely say something. Like I think he would say, hey, what's wrong? Are you okay? I don't know if Alice May would straight up like tell him what's wrong right now though. Like I think, oh yeah, no, she walked away. Okay, 
I don't think she wanted to tell him. He probably said like, what's wrong? And she was like, nothing. And like ran away. Because Caspian like saw her a lot as a kid. He knows that she's usually pretty happy and really outgoing. So I think it's like very weird for him to see her not being happy and like spacing off a little bit. But yeah, so that's everything going on with them. I can't wait to see your guys' comments about Caspian and Alice May and Cleo and everything. But now we are going to go to Han and Araminta because she's going to be having her baby. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so we were at the Glimmerbrook Palace and as soon as I got here, Araminta is already in labor. Han is freaking out like crazy. Okay, I guess they're going to the hospital. That was really fast. I forgot to move Maylin back here. Um, so I need to do that. But let's uh, go to the hospital, have your baby. Uh, oh yeah, have baby at hospital. We'll just have them go. Her and Han, go ahead. Uh, Takashi's gonna be a good uncle and watch Sayori. I'm sure they have like caretakers and stuff too, but that's fine. I just feel like Sayori is so excited to be a big sister. I'm so excited. Oh my God, guys, she's so cute. I, I am obsessed with her. Okay guys, so Aramid and Han, they had another girl and I'm going to name this one Princess, oh, hold on. Princess Rin. So this is their second child. I do believe they will be having another, oh, she's floating. Okay, well, oh, baby. Uh, in the next episode, I will probably have her like how I showed you guys Iori with the toddler preset as a newborn because I want to take pictures of her and stuff, but I'm going to do that in the next episode so you guys will see her. But yay! Yeah, we're going to wait a bit though before they have another child. Let's just enjoy these children first while we have them. Okay, well, I think we are going to go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know what you guys think of this episode in the comments below. I cannot wait to see your guys' comments. Let me know if you have any suggestions for either a new kingdom name to combine Doc Ryan and Selva Dorada, or if you think we should change it to Dakarai, let me know what you think of Alice May and Caspian and Kaleo and that whole situation and Jabari not being able to be there for her big speech. Let me know what you think of our new baby Rin, Han and Araminta's second child. And then let me know what you guys thought of Fallon and Charles' wedding as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.